Maybe you're sitting there today and you feel that God can't use me because I'm small, you know, that I'm I'm just one person. I, I'm nothing special. But the Bible says that God uses the weak things of the yeah. world to shame the wise. Right. Paul said that there's not many wise here. Right. There's not many scholars. That there's not many, uh, you know, lecturers, all these kind of things. It's a lot of weak people yeah. that the Lord has drawn to himself. And it's still that way today. Um, and the fact is that the Bible teaches that that's how God's kingdom changes the world. Let's go right real quick to Matthew 13, 31 to 32. He says, the kingdom of heaven, this is Jesus, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds. But when it's grown, it's greater than the herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. And I'm going to put a picture of, of a mustard seed up on the screen there for you. Now, a mustard seed is so small, but what Jesus is saying is that mustard seed, when it's planted, it actually becomes almost like a weed that spreads through the whole garden. It's so small, but it goes and it starts taking over other plants, basically. And that's exactly how Jesus is saying that the kingdom works. He uses small people, sometimes small yeah. deeds, small acts to totally change things, to totally change history even. Yeah. Um, and so if you're small, in the Lord, you're a perfect candidate. Yeah. Are you a mustard seed? Then let Jesus cast you yeah. into the ground. Let Jesus use you to spread his word and just watch what happens. A story that really touches me about this in the Bible is the story of the Ethiopian eunuch. And I'm not going to bring it up on, on here because it'll take long, too long to read the whole thing. But I encourage you to go read Acts 8.26 uh, to 40. And the story is basically this. There was a, a preacher uh, named Philip, and he had had amazing things happen. He had gone to towns, and, and revival pours out, and all mm -hmm. kinds of people are getting saved and healed and, and filled with the Holy Spirit, and all kinds of amazing yeah. things are happening, right? But one of the most amazing stories from Philip's life isn't when he went to a town and, and revival awakening poured out. One of the most amazing stories is when he was just uh, sitting down one morning, and the Holy Spirit spoke to him and told him, in verse 26, arise and go toward the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza in the desert. So he arose and went. And he sees a man there driving in his caravan from Ethiopia. And he was a man of a lot of authority. He, he was in charge, it says, uh, under he was a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all of her tr treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship. And long story short, Timothy just listen to that voice, that prodding of the Holy Spirit that called him to go and talk to one person about Jesus. And he, he went. He didn't know what he was going to find. Right. But when he got there, he saw the person. He knows this is the person. He shares the gospel with this eunuch. And that man is saved that day. And now it's impossible to really know what happened historically. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you something amazing. Um, the early church father, Irenaeus, affirmed that this eunuch went back to Africa to preach the gospel. And to this day, the Ethiopian church believes that that eunuch was the main person wow. who established the church in Ethiopia. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. He just, I mean, I feel the presence of God so heavy right now just saying that. He just went, Philip just went to go talk to one person. He didn't go planning to win a nation. Right. He just listened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And that one encounter very likely changed the destiny yeah. of a whole nation. Please let us know you're watching. Like our video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the notifications bell. And that way you'll also help others to see our content. And don't forget to check out our website, sharegodshope.com, where you can learn all about our mission's work worldwide. God bless you as you share God's hope.